Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to walk through the craft store. I'm in Hobby Lobby and I'm looking at all of these plants. And I think that if you look at them closely, you can make some miniature plants from them. And if you go on my YouTube channel, um, you'll see lots and lots of videos on there. Some with plants, some without plants, some with ones I've made with stamp punches. And the stamp punches are kind of hard to find, so I look for alternatives. And not everybody has access to those. But if you look at some of these, they really look like they could be nice miniature plants. And they're not very expensive. And if you watch the sale, you can, you know, get some that way too. Like this here looks like it could be like some tall ornamental grass. You know, you just kind of cut it down and you have some nice grass in your yard. So I'm just going to go through the store and we can kind of look around and see what they have. And let's go from there. This would make a nice fern if you cut it down and used the tips of it. I think that would be really nice. Maybe some cactus plants along the way. I don't know, there's lots and lots of ideas in here. I mean, you guys have to really look closely. And just because it has a big leaf or a big flower on it, don't just look at it and think, oh, I can't use that. Because if you look closely, a lot of times they have really, really small leaves mixed in with it. And like this could also be a fern and I don't think that's what it's supposed to be but I mean it's definitely a cute floral arrangement but you could make other things out of it then here's some long stringy um, grassy like floral arrangements that could be turned into some more grass or some like tall leaves and stuff like that I mean it's lots of stuff here maybe you could make some lavender with this Perhaps you can make some cactus plants or more long leafy bushes or anything really. I mean, your options here are completely endless. And the thing is, is a lot of times you can get them on sale at like, even if they're expensive, you can use one of their coupons for 40% off at Hobby Lobby. And I believe Michaels has it and AC Moore also has it. You know, they usually do one a week to kind of compete with each other to get you to go to their store versus the other store. But, um, and you know, just check it out. And also while I was in Hobby Lobby, they had this really cute um, section for fairies. So that was nice. But then this plant here, this is super, super tiny. I mean, like really, really tiny. And you got a lot on the bunch for it. So that was a nice find. Um, we'll just keep looking and see what else, you know, as we go through. I mean, there's just so many choices. I tell you, I felt crazy looking in the store, taking the video because everybody kept staring at me, but I was like, you know what? I got to show these people this. So hopefully, um, the next time you go in the store, you will actually be able to get some stuff that you can use for some miniature plants. And like this one, that kind of looks like something that I actually have in my front yard growing in the spring. So it really resembled that a lot. Don't ask me what it's called because I have no idea. It's something my husband brought home. But there are um, even these little plants that um, look like roses. They're coming up in a minute. I thought those were really, really beautiful, you know, for using in the garden. And then this you could use as a vine. I mean, just, gosh, I could have spent an arm and a leg in there today just buying every one of them. But I only bought a few because I have nowhere to put them. However... I did find something that I'm going to make a cherry blossom tree out of. So that video is going to be coming very, very soon. And I've got most of it done already. And I think it kind of looks nice. But I'll let you guys be the judge of it. And if you have any suggestions or whatever, just let me know. I'm always open to other ideas from other crafters or YouTube artists. So, you know, let me know what you think. And... Hopefully, while you're walking around the next time in the craft store, you'll find something that you can use that is not something you normally would think of, and you'll leave it in the comments below so that I can look for it next time as well. But anyway, um, this wasn't a tutorial like normal. This was just kind of like an out-of-the-ordinary shopping experience. And I hope that, um, you know, if you find something in there, you'll be able to make something from it in your store. These are the little roses I thought were adorable, by the way.
but I'm going to let you watch the rest of the video just kind of shopping through. If you don't want to, you don't have to. That's fine. Just, you know, skip over it. But it kind of gives you some ideas of what, you know, to look for in this store. But in the meantime, like, subscribe, leave a question, suggestion, or comment below, and I will see you the next time. Hey, thanks a lot. Have a wonderful, wonderful day.